everybody how's it going chris Hernandez here back with another one and in today's video specifically what i want to focus on is uh, taking the jeff bezos approach when it comes to running a business and managing a business right uh, so if you don't know who i am i'm a 19 year old entrepreneur i run my own digital ad agency and we specifically focus on helping econ brands also doing 5 to 10k a month we help them scale to over 50k a month to at times even 100k per month using paid traffic right and so um, I've been in the agency game for about a year now and I've invested over 5k in mentorship and in my own education for myself right and just from that alone and just talking with uh, my mentor and then discovering certain avenues and, and new ideas and new um, beliefs um, something I've uh, spoken about was taking the Jeff Bezos' approach when it comes to running a, a, a business, running a service-based business specifically, right? So, if you don't know, when Bezos was CEO of Amazon, right, and um, during the progress and the progression as Amazon has transcended into this huge company by just following simple uh, methods and having this one perspective that Bezos talked about in numerous letters written to um, stockholders, stock investors, and people who value the company, right? He always talked about focusing on the consumer, taking care of the consumer first, right? If you're able to make the consumer happy, well, the longevity of the brand, it's going to be uh, infinite because if you make the focus, making the consumer, giving the consumer the best experience possible, they're always going to stick with you, right? And then you take that I ideology, right? The Amazon approach when it comes to running a business, uh, specifically focusing on the consumer making it, making the product as value as possible, right? Then you look at other brands, so you look at Rolex, a watch known for luxury but has certain value that stands out from the market, right? You look at luxury brands, Porsche, a different luxury brand, right? A car model that has its own value that is different from everything else, right? So taking the approach when it comes to running an agency, running a business, right? A lot of times, specifically um, from my experience in the market, in the e-com game, a lot of entrepreneurs uh, seem to struggle on, on and having similar problems, specifically talking to numerous amounts of people in different areas uh, regarding hopping on like a sales call, right? Understanding their problems and their bottlenecks in their business, right? Usually stems from a couple things. Uh, one could be they don't have time to fully uh, focus on ads. Uh, secondly, they don't have the knowledge or the strategy, but especially after iOS 14, right? Ads has be, running successful ad campaigns has become more and more competitive in the space. Um, it could be as well. Um, simply, they don't have the knowledge, right? As a as a business owner, most of the time should be focused on the back end, focus on developing new products, developing new content. Uh, the focus shouldn't be on solely uh, spending like multiple, multiple hours uh, on, on ads when they can't even convert, right? So this is a general bottleneck you see in the market when it comes to econ brand owners who want to scale, but they don't know how, right? And typically if they come to you, well, they're coming to you for a solution, right? They need a solution to this problem. They want to get uh, better results they just don't know how to right and you are the solution you're the aid right so when you're able to focus on client experience right making it the best experience possible for the client what happens is they're one they're able to trust you so they want to stay on longer with you they don't work longer with you so you have a longer retention time of that client staying with you right Secondly, you they can refer you to some of their friends, right? Some of their e-com brand friends who have businesses as well and they're struggling. They can refer you business. Thirdly, right? You're able to develop testimonials and reviews in the market if you're able if you have a client sticking with you for six months, right? The amount of case studies you can build up, the amount of testimonials, the amount of reviews, that just in itself has more power in the market then let's say if you were to sign a client they stay on for a month now you're in the process of trying to bring on another client because the previous client couldn't stay on right so with that being said um if you just shift the focus on making the customer experience the best 
it can possible while also delivering results that the client has never seen before, the retention is going to stay longer and ultimately you're going to benefit from getting your client results, but ultimately having the longevity of that client sticking with you and having trust in you, right? So I believe in business karma as well, right? If you're able to help one client, you're able to help multiple clients, they refer other people and it just becomes momentum, right? Now, now you're able, that's going to push you to where now you just bring on five clients and boom, you're at 10K already. So it's having the mindset and the perspective shift of not um, not undervaluing the client experience, right? You don't want to undervalue that. You want to communicate. You want to have a system, but also understanding that the client is the focus here. And if you're able to uh, make their lives easier, well, they're able to invest more into your business because you're helping them. And ultimately, if once a client has seen the results, right, and they've seen the amount of progression will ultimately um, it's easier for you to promote an upsell or even at times maybe even renewing a contract right so um, and the thing with that is you can ultimately you can give a client results you can get them to um, yeah like I said you can deliver results for a client they still might might end up leaving right it's just a part of the game right clients leave for for numerous reasons a could be they can't pay for the service anymore b they can't afford um the 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 service fee that's what i've noticed as well if it's pretty high and they're barely breaking even they can't afford it or they can't take the risk if it's a smaller econ brand owner or it could be they're bringing the advertising in-house right they don't want to pay an agency they want to bring the marketing in-house that's another one and also it could be that they're just ultimately they don't um, see the vision when it comes to running ads right or they don't they don't have trust in your process specifically so there could be a, a numerous reasons why clients leave you but like i said if the focus is on client retention and, and getting clients to stay on longer for for longer periods of time well that ultimately is going to stack up and you're going to have like a, a, just a series of five to six clients that stay on for six plus months and then just the rolling retainers alone is a significant amount where you can then take that money and reinvest into ads or into your funnel or something like that. So the name of the game is client retention, the ability to have clients stay on with your agency for longer periods of time is actually going to benefit you. And it's going to be easier for you to scale to um, six figures a month, seven figures a month when you have client retention past six months, right? Because um, client retention is a powerful thing. A lot of people undervalue the, the 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 retention rate, right? If you're able to retain a client for six months, right, and let's say you have a closing rate of twenty five percent, you're bringing on, let's say you bring on five six clients and they stay for six months. It's a powerful too because then you have that set momentum, and then you're able to focus in on all right. I have six clients. Let me focus on making the client experience better. And then that's where you just improve and implement systems and processes to where you can get as close as possible to automation, right? And that's where you might have more complex problems, but the solutions are ultimately going to drive your business to the next level because you're you're solving higher value problems, right? And ultimately, the growth is just going to be crazy. So um, that's really all I have for you guys uh, regarding the 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 approach that Bezos took with Amazon and the amount of growth uh, his company has, has seen, right? You can take the same approach and apply it to your and your business, your service-based business, specific, specifically focusing from with client to client, right? Bringing them value. If you take this approach, ultimately the longevity of your business is going to scale to higher amounts than if you were to just solely focus on um, the money aspect of a business, right? If you put the consumer first, the longevity of your brain is just ultimately going to stay for for longer periods of time right so that's really all i have for you guys if you have any questions comments you want me to cover a specific topic comment that down below and then make sure you like comment subscribe and more content coming soon guys